this quick video is for Shib trolling me about skateboarding. My guy, if uh, you want to know something really special about skateboarding, the tray flip has evolutioned from the beginning of skateboarding to modern skateboarding. The scooping motion of the tray flip is a new thing. Do you understand? That's a new video. That Day One song, I understand that Day One song is a legend because Day One song knows me. All of them know me. A lot of them know me. A lot of them. Not just a little bit. The tightest homies in my skateboarding crew was Antoine Dixon and Jim Greco. That's my that's my core group. And Lizard King and those motherfuckers. You know? Like the last person of that group was motherfucking Rodriguez or whatever. From that group. I forgot. F uh, Figo. Fiquito. Figgy. He, he was the one after the snowboarding trip in California who took me to the hospital because I destroyed my fucking legs, you know? And between John Greco and Figure, like, yeah, get the fucking, get the, get the surgery, it's free, you know? It was like my, hun like, it was like my 120th day of corporate money, you understand? So I'm like, Figgy, Figgy, no, no. I don't want to get surgery on my legs. That's why there's shit today. Because I used to do rails, but no more. Because after snowboarding, I went really big. You know what I mean? I was already a good skateboarder. There was a lapse while Antoine was filming his Baker section that I was with them. And... I left with Tony, Sean White, and them to the mountains or whatever, and I started doing really big shit in the mountain enough to hurt my leg. And then coming back from that practice, because snowboarding technically, you know, trains you to go for 20 feet stair. You know, if, if you're a little afraid, it might, you know, and doing like a 10 step, they got a 10 step, like a five foot high jump. You go snowboarding, you start doing some tabletop work, you start doing that, you know, you start doing what I did for a little bit, which is walk up a mountain, go down it, you know, jump through a keyhole 25 feet to flat or 25 feet to a small jig or whatever. You change. Your skateboarding will not be the same. You're going to go back and kick push to the abyss, you know, because your body is... By then, I had the ollie locked up, you know. It wasn't like now. My ollie is not that good. Not 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 like the last time I skated because I can't skate anymore. I'm completely broken. Lower spine is broken. I'm missing a disc. My at my knees and ankles hurt a lot. You know they're naturally broken. I can't keep a I can't keep a balance well anymore. Like my actual body can't keep balance on its foot from how intense are the broken angles on both feet. So. You go snowboarding, you come back, it, it's a completely different animal. And I had the ollie on lock, so you start, I start jumping 20 stairs with these guys. Just like, whoop, big stuff. Enough to break mo both of my fucking knees. And that was the last of me in California with Figgy at the hospital. So yeah, let's go back to skateboarding history. Day one, that day one song video has a lot of tray flips. But that's not the original tray flip. That's a modern tray flip. It's a tray flip for boards or the newer boards that start coming out over 7.5, 7, 7, 7, 7.35, eight inch boards. That's new. So instead of doing a 360 flip like the ancient boards, which were a little thinner, the eight foot, the eight inch boards or et cetera, you know, eight, eight to five, eight, three, five, which are pretty big boards basically for guys who are going to do really big stairs they start scooping the foot 
and if you place the foot just right, it's not a 360 shovel and it looks like a 360 flip. But the board never flipped. You understand? You put it in slow-mo, you see the logo, you see the 360 spin, it's like an angle, the board catches wind, 360 shove it, and everyone calls it the modern tray flip. The real tray flip, in ancient times, it's a varial flip with a lot of pressure. Meaning you're more likely, you're more likely to hit a double 360 flip than anything else in the old school way. The old school way is completely different. Remember Rodney Mullen? That's the ancient way. You remember how many flips he used to do in one single tray flip? It was like three, you know? He would do like a regular heel flip, it was like two, three. Cause that's the original way. His boards were really thin, or basically, practically everyone's boards was like a 725, 735, and that was the norm. The tray flip, three, six, no, the distinction between tray flip and 360 flip is that it's a, a, a tweaked out 360 shove. And never forget that, because this is Dr. Bo Dr. Roman Benia telling you about this. Go ask uh, uh, Reynolds what my board is. A bunch of waves. You know? I remember Reynolds showing me that board still. My actual fucking Baker board is just waves. Just like... The Japanese style waves like up and down. You know, that was that's a, that's a, that's where it left. There's no last name, there's no none of it. But right now I'm too old to do that. Or if I try to do that again, I'm gonna be like an old old man. And when I quit after skateboarding one more time, I'm gonna end up in a fucking wheelchair. You know, it's guaranteed. I'm gonna end up in a fucking wheelchair. I'm gonna be one of those guys with a motherfucking Yeah, I can't walk. I can't even invent, you know, it's gonna be weird, you know, getting up from a chair with my back 100% 90 degrees. And my back's already like that. I take a little bit to get up after sitting for a long time. So yeah, don't forget that distinction. Times change, tricks change. My way of doing tray flips is a double varial flip, just like Rodney Mullen and them, that it was, if you're gonna do a 360 flip, there's two flips in that shit, two, one, two. And you see it, you see the trucks pop, 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 like a fucking helicopter. Tray flip is more a modern approach to the tray flip for bigger boards. I hope you guys have a good weekend. We're not gonna talk about the market because we know the, what the market did. If you aren't going long for Monday or setting big long calls, big ones, maybe a week long or whatever, you're a loser. I already set my whole week of trade to set. My whole week of trades is absolutely set. We're just got to see if the market is going to retrace. If it doesn't retrace, by the time I sit down, you know, I might set trades automatically. You know, I might set the trade manually, but I'd rather leave the trade automatically. You know, I'd rather leave the trades automatically to ensure that what I want to do is right. Fifth, negative 50% retracement, negative 50% expansion, going long with stop loss and take profit. N you know, if it's not that, don't trade. Just like uh, pickles. That's pickles fucking future strategy. But remember, on, e on, on futures, $50 is like nothing. So for me, it's 50 cents. Peace.